Hello and welcome to Glendale Today. I'm Mayor Jerry Wires. On this episode, I want to share with you an organization that's been making a positive difference in the lives of Glendale teens for decades, which is the Mayor's Youth Advisory Commission, or MIAC for short. Uh, joining me today will be a couple of former MIAC students who have gone on to uh, great careers. These alums will be sharing their thoughts on the impact of MIAC in their lives. And later I'll be talking with one of our current MIAC president about uh, great things happening this year. Mark Emily police are going to be back out here today. Up first and joining us from Tucson is Maria Hechenova, who's a television reporter for Tucson. Uh, News Now is the name of it. Maria was a MIAC member just a few years ago. Maria, thanks for joining us. Hey guys, my name is Maria Hechenova and I'm a reporter and multimedia journalist with KOLD KMSB in Tucson. Hey and welcome back. Today we get to talk with Coach Brett. I was a part of MIAC about 10 years ago and my favorite experience was just getting a chance to know other teens in the community that were just doing great things. And the biggest piece of advice I have for students thinking about getting involved in MIAC, well once you do, it's really what you make out of it. And there are plenty of opportunities to really just get involved and get a better idea of how your government works, how your community works, and then at the same time you can try and figure out what you want to do when you grow up. Thanks, Maria. Joining me now is Paul Sensman, who has worked in many high-ranking positions in the state government. Paul is a MIAC member during the term of Mayor George Renner. Uh, Paul, thank you for joining me. Uh, tell us uh, uh, what you do now. Thank you, Mayor. I'm a lobbyist now for Policy Development Group here in Phoenix, Arizona. We lobby at the federal government, also state government mostly for me as my primary focus, also some local government affairs as well. You know, somehow that, that uh, lobbyist has got a bad reputation and, and it's, not, it's not always due uh, and it's certainly not due in your case. Well, uh, what, what are some of the, the, your favorite memories of MIAC? You know, I had a wonderful experience, uh, both in the colleagues and other students that I met from other high schools that I would have never had the opportunity to get to know, but also particularly the leadership, the elected officials, as well as the city management and staff. Uh, some of the line staff, the public services staff, I know public utility staff was one gentleman who took me around and, and spent a little time with me on the day. Uh, it was a great experience. We get to learn a lot about the city, its inner workings, what it really meant to citizens, what it could, what it could actually do, what it was effective at, and so uh, it was very revealing and uh, created a lot of uh, thoughts about where I might, uh, might take such a career. A lot of opportunities in the future. Yeah, yeah no question. Yeah. How, how do you think your experiences might help prepare you for, for life after high school? Yeah, it really well. I actually was uh, a student at Cactus High School when I was a member of MIAC. And, um, and uh, went on to ASU West and graduated from ASU West with a degree in political science. So obviously my experience at, in high school and, and, and including my uh, couple of years on MIAC uh, influenced my decision making and where I wanted, what subject I wanted to study and the kind of career that I wanted to pursue in the future. I see. Now are you still, uh, do you still have those connections uh, in your profession that that you made while serving in MIAC? I do. There are some people that, that I've kept in touch with over the years. And actually, um, in, in the past, uh, some have retired now since some of the leadership has. But uh, at the time, city manager was uh, Martin Vanacour in the city of Glendale. I knew his son. We went to high school together. And we were, in fact, he served on MIAC as well. But um, yes, yeah, some of those connections have become, has actually been invaluable. You know, the kind of relationships that last for a lifetime. So. Um, yeah, it was a tremendous experience and it continues to benefit me even to this day. Now, were you a charter member or, or real close we to We were that? very close to the early, yes, the very initial part of it. I know Mayor Renner started it. Um, George Renner was uh, um, obviously a longtime mayor, very highly respected mayor in the city of Glendale. Seems we've all, we've had a, a really good streak of mayors actually, mm -hmm. sir, over <laughs> and been very blessed that way. Uh, why is it so important for youth to get involved serving their community? That, that's really a big question. You know, that was the first um, real interesting part of my act was explaining to kids um, uh, that were high school age why it is so important to serve and to give back and, and what it meant to actually serve. You know, uh, there were things that we knew after going through that experience that we could impact. If we took a little time, spent the effort, it was more than just a job and a career, it was sacrifice. and. Uh, we learned both so the perspective of elected officials like yourself, 
um, and the kind of sacrifices and service that you go through in order to serve and lead. We also learned from line staff what it meant to serve in that kind of capacity and the kind of uh, commitment and integrity that it takes to do that kind of uh, those kinds of responsible duties. So, uh, public service was very, very meaningful, and it enlightened me. The experience enlightened me to what it actually meant, uh, which is what inspired me to continue on and study it when uh, when I was in college, and then continue to study it, obviously, and, and participate in it in my professional career. Well, uh, now, what what advice would you give to the the young people of Glendale as they're preparing for for life after high school? You know, I, I think if you care <coughs> deeply, if you truly care about people, if you deeply care about individuals. Public service and this opportunity is such a great experience. It's, uh, it's, it, it is rewarding. It's something, as you know, Mayor, from your long service to our citizens, it's something that can, uh, you can see change. You can effectuate actual progress in our society. And, you know, we hear a lot of cynical things said about how things are done. Uh, uh, but we also have a lot of people that sit on the sidelines and don't engage, yeah. and our youth uh, with this opportunity that you've uh, continued, um, they have an opportunity to really engage, to learn what it means, learn where the challenges are and where the challenges are going to be ahead so they can begin thinking about them now. And, you know, building bridges between disagreement. I mean, there's always disparity in, in opinion. Uh, there always has been. There was at the founding of this country. But this opportunity kind of teaches young people how to solve those problems, how to bridge those gaps, how to come together to do something really incredible. And uh, just uh, to seeing what Ma MIAC has become and what it continues to be is pretty inspiring. Paul, uh, you know, right now the MIAC students have got a lot of things that, that wasn't available back when you were a MIAC student. We've got the, the football stadium. We have the, the hockey arena. We've got, uh, you know, Glendale Glitters and Glitters and Glow and uh, a lot of things. Uh, you know, you were, you were here 24 years ago, something like Let's that. Let's not add it up. Quite a while ago. Is there, is there anything that, that if you could kind of go back, maybe that you would like to do that you didn't get the chance to do? You know, it is remarkable, Mayor, how much the city has advanced and a testament to the public servants who've helped contribute to that. But yeah, I, I wish I'd had an opportunity to be in a studio like this and see these kinds of things going on. I had an interest, obviously, in current affairs. Um, and as they, particularly as they related to uh, uh, public service and elected officials. And so we didn't have these kind of tools quite uh, as well developed and advanced as these tools are. And so, uh, yeah, it would have been a remarkable opportunity to be in a studio just like this. Well, this, this is a state of our art studio. In fact, uh, uh, in the studio right now, we've got three MIAC students in here with us, plus we have uh, three or four over in, uh, in engineering. Uh, uh, really interested, want to want to see what's going on and, and learn, and that's really my focus is to give them every opportunity possible to succeed when they get out of school. Uh, open up doors that maybe they would never have that chance to open up. So uh, we're real excited that you came out today. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you, thanks again for joining us today and for your continued service to our community. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, uh, we'll talk to current MIAC president about how MIAC has helped him and what's in, in store for the future. Stay tuned. <music> 